there's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. We did it again, you fucking idiots. We're back. Hello. I want to thank the person. Welcome to the last room on the left. Somebody sent me this. It's the Lucy and with the chocolate. Remember that? Oh, we're big no, chocolate dance dudes from way back. Very oh, nice. That is one of your five references. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, no, I also just realized looking at the mugshot of that horrible white supremacist piece of shit that I look just like him when I wear glasses. Yep. Travis, can um, you pull up a picture so. of him together? Yeah, I want to see. I, I just see. he was sentenced to life in like 400 plus years, and I'm oh, like, well. The, the driving guy. Yeah, the, the guy who killed Heather Heyer. I saw. Yeah, in his mugshot, I just, it, it was a, it was really... I gotta, I, I, I gotta drop some face. LBs. I want to see his face. Dude, just oh do mugshot. shot. Do you You'll be able. He's to... smart. You, was he gonna oh, say he's not like... smart. No, well, he's he got glasses even more. on. Glasses. He's got glasses <laughs> on. I think that, I think that myth is now gone. That you're intelligent. So, yeah. Oh, see, there he is. No, you don't. You got look the same like shape him. ahead, maybe. All oh, right. Yeah. Well, as you long as I don't look too much like him, that's all that matters. You got bigger lips. All right. Good. You got bigger lips. I think it was the hair. I think it's stronger chin honestly. yeah all right yeah. very yeah. good yeah Thank that guy's you. that guy's got like a Haley joel osmond face where it's like oh, big okay. head tiny face all right very yeah. good yeah. you know where i'm looking at now I'm, I'm in the beard level where i sort of look like man in icu for brain surgery you know what I mean? Ooh, <laughs> yeah couldn't shave because he couldn't move yeah because it's me you know, i love it he's blinking oh, yeah. until he sweeney blink? until sweeney todd shows up for a hospital visit wouldn't that be fun <laughs> when i was in the oh. er the other day uh, for yeah. my head injury, yeah. uh, I got to convince a French tourist who had gotten way too high that he wasn't dead. That's awesome. And then he wanted to conf confess his sins to Carolina. Uh, he just thought she was Mother Teresa. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Man, she hot. was an attractive woman in the ER. Carolina uh, could do a good, sexy Mother Teresa for Halloween. Not everything has to be yeah. sexy, Henry. She could also be a <laughs> pious Mother Teresa. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but she yeah. wasn't in the mood because I almost died. Uh, <laughs> so that, that's actually a crazy story. Marcus is alive, thank God. Thank God. Um, but the French dude who was high off of cocaine, yeah. oh. and they were like, they went to the, uh, the nurses came up to him and we were like, yo, bro, this is the ER. You got to go. We can send you to Bellevue if you want to talk to a psychiatrist. Just for reference, never go to fucking Bellevue. Never yeah. uh, go to <laughs> Bellevue. <laughs> Whatever the option is, because they were saying in the hospital, right, because they were like, you can leave if you want to. And he's like, no, no, no. I must have to put the cocaine out of my nose. And they're like, no, no, no. But you're allowed to leave. And so if they ever, if you're ever no. in the hospital and they give you an option to leave or go to a secondary location, what do we know? Never go. Never, Never go, go to a second location. location. Never yeah. go. Now, this guy yes. was some poor French tourist. I don't think he knew anybody here. He had done way too much cocaine. Right. Uh, he was in full cocaine psychosis. I think he'd smoked some super strong weed as well. Very uh, yeah. And they asked him to give him something to help him go to sleep. And they're like, you can't sleep here. This is an ER. You'll have to, you can go talk to a psychiatrist. Ooh. And he's like, oh, okay, yes. And they're like, you can leave anytime you want, because he did not know the no. three days. Because, Travis, you got sent to Bellevue once, right? I mean, I, it is never like the TV show Scrubs. They're not <laughs> nice. No, no one I, is nice. I went to Bellevue to check on. By the way, I'm sick, so this is why I sound like this. But uh, Good. I went to Bellevue to get my inguinal hernia surgery Ugh. checked on. Ugh. The uh, the guy said, I'll have, I'll have test results for you tomorrow, so come in tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, I went back, and the next day the guy died of a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stressful I love job. It. Honestly, it's Bellevue, it's slightly worse than. Do you ever see the Geraldo Rivera footage? The, the footage that got him famous? The Cropsy footage. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is slightly worse than that still. <laughs> Never, ever go there. But I, I chose Bellevue over Woodhull. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Woodhull, I was advised when I first moved to New York, Woodhull Hospital, this is very inside baseball. This is only if you live somewhere near the Malcolm X Boulevard region of Brooklyn, where it's like the uh, – Woodhull was said, it's if you get shot in the lobby of Woodhull, you should get an ambulance to another hospital. Well, I heard it, I heard it was if you, if you get stabbed. We heard two, two different stories. Oh, well, All right. Oh, well, well, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I just, All right. <laughs> you know what's great mandate. about – yeah, What's it's that? great about this week is that it is Titty's mandate, which yes. means we didn't do 
any work. <laughs> we yeah. didn't do any work. I have so is... many videos, so we should probably get started. Okay, all oh, right. Oh, yeah, all okay. Right, well... But wait, no, wait, Travis, before we begin. We didn't, oh, <laughs> we didn't do any work. <laughs> any yes. work. All right, that's it. I'm tired. Man, I like that Elvira, uh, Elvira shirt. I just saw an interview with her. That's cool. I know shit. she wears like a lot of makeup and everything, but she is still like she must work out hours a day. Yeah, I'm getting. She, uh, she is absolutely she's incredible. stunning in person. She is. She is really. She looks great. She's and I the just best. like. I just more of this. I want to have more. I want instead of having big dick energy, I want to have big tit energy. Sure. Yeah. Well, you're getting there. Um, and it's nice because you make it's them 3D. Squeezes. I know what you're doing. <laughs> you make squeezes. that shirt real 3D there with your with your with your tits there, your boobs. Well, uh, speaking yeah. of the French, let's go to Canada. Oh, okay. Oh, Vancouver. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. <laughs> like the Canadian version of Mr. Peanut, so it was <laughs> half done. <laughs> the civic election is now less than two weeks oh, away. That On is November scary. the 20th, voters will go to the polls. It's like Mr. Alderman, Peanut fucked the carrot. Uh, people to the Parks Board, Schools Board, and of course the mayor. Some people say that to run for the mayor's chair, you have to be some sort of a nut, though. <laughs> Amazingly enough, there is a nut running for mayor in Vancouver. He's appropriately named Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut's a member of the Peanut Party and is the only candidate in the civic election who doesn't make long speeches or give long-winded campaign promises. He leaves that up to his campaign manager, John Mitchell. Instead, Mr. Peanut tap dances his way into the hearts of voters and hands out peanuts. Yeah. Mr. Peanut doesn't speak because politicians really don't have anything to say, but his supporters do the talking for him. I think that uh, the, the public's ready to uh, to have a real nut in office for a change. They're used to they would, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. would do this. Real. They really like this part. Well, uh, I think in terms of the popular vote, his chances... She can't vote. vote. Don't even talk to her. The electorate. Well, we'll have to Lick see. This guy sounds like Ted Bundy. But the campaign's rolling. I think that's a woman. Short, I'm pretty certain that's uh, a woman. It's a beautiful voice for a woman. Support. And, uh, um, is this actually here, trademarked? Are they ruining, and, uh, are they taking this from Mr. Peanut, our Mr. Peanut? And, uh, uh, Mr. Peanut's going to be making many appearances in the next, uh, uh, few days towards the election. And, uh, from, uh, his appearances on the street, just casually walking around town, uh, I think his chances are very good. I think so, too. I gotta see. I wanna see how many votes he got. He got I wanna find out if he can legally even say the name. He got 3.4 percent. Yeah. Peanut is where it's at. The he did a hell of a lot better than I did. Got. <laughs> More than I did. He got double. That's what I'm saying. I didn't wear any costumes. Yeah. Yeah. That's your problem. If you and went spoke. out as some sort of big, again, I don't mean to put this in like if you just pushed him up into sort of like a leader hose <laughs> and like a beer wench like from Oktoberfest, uh -huh. maybe you would have gotten the proper respect that you needed. At the maybe, moment. maybe. All right, Mr. Peanut doing great. Mr. Peanut, I honestly, I'm still very concerned that they stole that's from us. They stole that from us. I mean, I don't know. It's just, is it? it's not that creative of a costume. Fuck it's just you. a peanut with legs. That's all day. That's all day in a peanut costume. And guess what you can't do in a peanut costume? You what? can't go out and, uh, I mean, you can't drive the way I drive in a peanut costume because then people are going to end up like you have to you have to uphold a certain moral standard while ha holding the guise of Mr. Peanut. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you do end up like getting hit by a car, they're like, oh, now he's peanut butter, and then you're a joke, and no one even remembers you were ever a person. <laughs> and it will not and be like, underestimated. Yes. It will not be joked upon. The sad ending to that story is that the person inside that costume is a man, an artist, and he was trying to make a point. Uh, oh, it's a Canadian oh, point. Oh, is he trying to make a point? Like, oh, there's just so many nuts in the politics. So I see the what you're politics. doing over there. Is it about how the uh, government's already full of nuts? You Fun might nuts. as well go and get yourself. Oh, you might as well just go and, and Honestly, get yourself a real Mr. Pita. That's what you got to do there. Someone should have been like a Mrs. Walnut, and then there should have been like a, you know, like a, like a Mr. What's another good pistachio? And they should have had a blood fight. Mr. Pistachio. <laughs> Stash show would be weird is he had like the shell Ugh. costume on and then you pull it off and it's just a nude man painted green. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting a lot of uh, some feedback on my big tit energy because several uh, women in the, or I assume I'm saying women, I was saying with titted individuals are in the uh, chat saying that they actually have big titted energy and they feel that it hurts their back. Ah, <laughs> okay, I believe it. You got to get the strong bras.
No, is that? No, I don't think that helps because I've seen. Yeah, it does. It's really sick because those big supportive bras, you yeah. know, they must really hurt. No, they help. That's why people wear them. No, That's but I, the don't, whole I don't point. know. This is not for us to ask, is it, Kizzle, or no? I don't know, but. We can be curious. I don't. I, can I know they support know. Us. That's am, the whole point. I am desperately curious. I <laughs> yeah. don't know for certain. That's why, like, Christina Ricci had to wear the same thing UPS drivers have to wear, but th she didn't carry boxes. It was just Dang. those. She had She had a reduction. She had a reduction? I'm making it up, but I You're remember them being bigger. Ever. I do remember them being bigger and then they got smaller. That's I all just I know. feel she lost some weight. I have no idea. I love her. I love her. That's all I know. Interesting. Well, this next video has big vein energy. Uh-oh. No. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Hormos Gudarzi. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Unless this ends in a porn. What's wrong? We have varicose veins. <laughs> uh, it's worse than a zombie apocalypse. I feel your pain. And I'm sorry that you haven't been helped so far. I promise you, I'll make your legs great again. Oh, very nice. That's so nice. He's saying, <laughs> so this is a tag on MAGA and it's about, and it's about veins? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That is really fun. I'm getting a lot of, there is the, a flurry of activity of saying that um, the big bras do in fact still hurt. Sometimes I it know, hurts their well, shoulders and sometimes okay. it's just the pressure of them. It is honestly, it is on fire. The chat is on fire. Talking. Is it on, on fire? fire? Hey, all right. Yeah. Very nice. Um, so how do they fix varicose veins? Do they drain they them? They rip them out. Rip they them just, out. yeah, they just rip yeah. them right out. And they really they do with them. Do they put them in like the KFC? You remember those bowls? They sell them to people like you when you <laughs> go into the back room of a fancy restaurant and then it's <laughs> veins for dinner and they're like, we got this off a six foot seven German redhead. Did it's I... very special. <laughs> it's just, I mean, <laughs> but they don't tell me it's a man. You know what I mean? Because for some Whatever. reason it makes it less, more gross if it is. My question yeah. is, um, uh, could I ever tell the story of the worst thing I've ever eaten? What I did? Yeah, with it's the still... octopus. No, it was not the octopus. Well, every time you tell stories about your cuisine, we lose Patreon dollars. I mean, whatever it takes, <laughs> I can't fucking handle it. Wow, Kissel. <coughs> if you have walking pneumonia, is it enough to kill another man? <coughs> like if you're doing it for longer? <coughs> <coughs> He's fucking crazy. I'm fucking dead. <coughs> I'm just... Jeez, yeah, you just look at Marcus. Marcus got an extra open hole in his fucking head, <coughs> so all these germs can fly around. It's Marcus, not good. They, they are still talking about titties, and I love the chat. I like this. But a part of it is, uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So the worst thing I've ever eaten was a solid bacon cup filled with lamb brains and it was uh, my birthday dinner and i made the table do them because i thought it would be fun right and, and i bit into them and the problem is the way it was structured the brains shot into the back of my throat Ugh. which was just the worst like you know because i've heard the term given brain right yeah sure and all I guess the time that's what it must taste like uh huh. Well, just an update on our Patreon. We owe our audience fifty dollars each. <laughs> so that's the reverse of how that's supposed to work. People are no. really concerned for all of you guys in the New York studio. Well, it just got so damn cold here. Let's it, talk it, about yeah. the weather. It got so not, chilly. It is it's, cold. It's this a, is how you started. The, the side stories today. Is oh, <laughs> yeah. You just don't even know anymore, Henry. You sold out. Yeah. yeah You're man. out there. You're weak. You don't I get. I bought in, dude. Look at me. I'm walking like an Egyptian out here, man. <laughs> Having a fucking great time. Cultural appropriation. Yeah, man. The Egyptians didn't even fucking walk like that. They walk normal. I don't know. Um, well, all right. I know what would make me feel better. A little bit of Frasier energy. Oh, Always. Yeah. Oh, this one. This is don't good know one. what to do. <laughs> what can't he do? I mean, he is... <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so, is this from the catalog of worst songs of the 1950s? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is his stand up. <laughs> I. <laughs> Honestly, this I like it. It's man. better than Steve Martin. It's better than Steve Martin. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> it's not better than Steve Martin. I like his blue. Do you have any idea how difficult? It's not the bluegrass, the comedy songs. This? 
<laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. I still fucking got it, man. White guy scat. I like it because it's fun, but it's also contained. You don't want to have it. It's not outlandish. It's just fun enough. Well, you know, you went out and you saw a show that night. And it was, remember that song, dear? Laughing in Rhythm. You got to do it. Oh, it's it. Laughing in Rhythm. I thought it was Laughing in the River. I think it's Laughing no, in Rhythm. Laugh, and no, it's Laughing in Rhythm. It's not Laughing in the River. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not, about, it's not all about Lenny from uh, Vice and Men. I would but. rather watch a guy suck his own dick, gag on it, and throw up on his fucking feet than that video. Honestly, you, you say that about everything. You would say that about, about the Miami Miracle when mm -hmm. they beat the Patriots this weekend. Do you I see that? The, I actually saw the Miami Miracle happen, and I tell you what, they need a little bit more than a miracle because they're still in the wild card race. They're right? wild cards. Yeah, they're wild. Look at they're me. Out I'm a there. Man. You're I'm a fan. man. Yes. Um... What is with there? There was a time period of music. Marcus, you're probably would be more adept at answering this question. There was like a time period where songs, they would take breaks and sets to do comedy songs. And jazz mm -hmm. had like, Rob Obiski. Like that song, you know, where it's like, <laughs> like, like they were like funny songs mm -hmm. put into a set. I mean, Why? it's the whole thing that uh, every musician wants to be a comedian and every comedian wants to be a musician. Mm. Yeah, mm. I hate that, man. And the problem is musicians are already getting all the lick lick. Why are right. they trying to come and act like they're going to get the, the paltry lick lick the comedians get in the first place? And most comedians just end up as plumbers. So yeah. You know it's what I mean? And sad. You, you fucking straight up, honestly, plumber's a great job. I love a plumber. If I love you got in the union... <sighs> <laughs> uh, this is almost as bad as my weather conversation. I know, but yes, man, I'm you, talking once about you get into the jobs union. And their unions, you get into a good solid pension, man. This these yeah. kids, this kids in the chat, these some of these kids are almost fucking thirty two years old and they're yeah. sitting up there and they're all acting all lollygagging and, and toot free. You know what I mean? You don't understand, you gotta think about your future. Absolutely. No, I love plumbers, not maligning plumbers at all, maligning comedians. Yeah. Learn yeah. a trade. Huh. Learn a trade. Take it from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who literally, you don't... I, I don't, I, I don't know. Brooke has gone. So last night I just made two bags of rice, <laughs> and I've been eating that uh, per periodically for the last twelve hours, so you along ate, with you smooth ate moves. an entire African's village meal. Yes, <laughs> when they it send was, the food. Yes, UNICEF is catering this week. Um, <laughs> it is pretty sad. So my house is nothing but whiskey, Bud Light, rice. And smooth move, laxative tea. There's a lot of people saying here uh, they're, they're, that are fighting for the plumber and the union man. I love the plumber <laughs> and the union man. Yeah, union man's great. Working sure. man keeps America rolling. Absolutely. You guys want to talk car insurance? I'll talk car insurance. Fucking razor blade <laughs> grin. We will talk about it because I cut Geico and I did that by just randomly just choosing Geico. Huh. Well, speaking of the working man, uh, let's look into this workman co workman's comp case. Oh, okay. Ooh. Gilbert was a Pinellas County, Florida bus driver hurt in an on-the-job accident. Afterwards, he talked like a toddler. Oh, I don't feel good. And when questioned <sighs> on I don't know. It took him more than a minute to count to ten. <laughs> I don't know if I'm buying it. But despite the $774,000 Gilbert and his wife took in, the baby talker had some simple tastes. So what do you like to have for supper? What's your favorite food? Mm -hmm. Oh, I would repeat. Uh, no, this is a sexual thing. <laughs> spaghetti? Yeah. What do you like on your pizza? Oh, you know, whatever they get for me. I fucking hate him. I hate him. <laughs> I mean, look, look what a private eye found. The baby talker could drive, the baby talker could hunt, and the baby talker could play golf. This was his last hole. Get out of the golf cart, you're under arrest for workers' compensation fraud and grand theft. Get out of the golf cart, please. Notice as he's being arrested, Bruce Gilbert, the man with the mind of a five-year-old, has the sense to take off his expensive watch. But Gilbert kept up his baby talk even after getting caught. <laughs> uh, I think, you know, the guy put on a good performance. Yeah, but this isn't Son of Sam, that movie, what's his name, that with uh, 
They uh, were being taped. Oh, uh, and I am Sam. I am Sam. Sounded all grown up. Workman's compensation. Bruce, baby Tucker Gilbert. I mean, he went so far that he got 700K, won the lottery. That's how a bus mean, driver wins the lottery. If that's and, all it takes to be a baby, then goo goo yeah. gaga, give me that titty. I need some lunch. Also, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you know, every company got one guy who's scamming. Yeah. And he, he really did the baby talk thing on camera. The public embarrassment enough. I think it's I think it's satisfied. I feel satisfied in the amount of work he put in for to to get the workman's cop. Technically, you are correct. He's put in more work than any commercial actor that has ever existed. Absolutely. Um, that what is do you true. mean? Uh, double Chalupa? I could be a Taco Bell <laughs> fucking commercial. <laughs> I they never want. They never put us in those commercials because no. we are we, too real. Yeah, we, we look like the actual customer. Yes, mm -hmm. no, the real they always put the models in there. I don't think that that chick from the uh, from the Whopper commercials ever even ate a Whopper. No. Remember that? Oh, yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. She's more like she, it's more like she went to the casting office and told a Whopper. And that's where <laughs> got herself a job there. Yeah. You should be a plumber. <laughs> Honestly, plumbers <laughs> got great jokes. <laughs> I'm so fucking Better jokes than comedians. I'm so good. <laughs> you got to be funny if you're around the bathrooms all day. And, you know, if you're always in there, everyone's like half embarrassed because they just yeah. dumped so much. Maybe they had too much smooth moving rice. <laughs> and they just took such a big dump, they had to call you. So that's like, I mean, it's the equivalent of going into the doctor when you're getting your uh, colonoscopy. Mm. I just imagine your dumps right now between the smooth move and all the rice just looks yeah. like tiny little people riding a mudslide <laughs> into a fucking whirlpool. <laughs> well, no one wants to think about it. God it is disgusting. Almighty. But I was just like, but honestly, oh wait, but I'm so nothing, oh we all we don't know what's going on. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I would love to watch you audition for a serious drama such as I Am Sam, the aforementioned, and the casting director is like, are you just making fun of the film? <laughs> are you making fun of the film or are will, you taking... I will win an Oscar. Yeah. I will win an Oscar. You let me just do just one. Just, the, just I'll do a, a quick shot again because okay. obviously it's controversial. Get a Kevin Spacey and Usual Suspects Kevin. thing going here. What? It's just you have to do like a just say something like you can't play that. You can't play in the football game. Or it's just being like, oh no, but no. I'm no, sorry. Spinny. So, I'm sorry, Spinny. The okay. character named Spinny, and he can't. Um, he's not allowed to play in the tennis finals or something. You got to do something. Okay, fine, fine. All right. Now you were were coaches. Coaches, yeah. Okay. All right. How are we going to break this to Spinny? He's mm -hmm. not allowed to play in the big championship game. I mean, we have to tell him. All right. Spinny, can you step into our office, please? Spinny. Yeah, so sure thing. Is it time for me to put on my uniform? Uh, Spinny, I'm sorry. You won't be wearing a uniform today. We're not going to allow you to suit up. Um, we just don't feel as if you have the skills necessary to be safe on the field. Oh, understand. Why you say why? I cannot. <laughs> but I will say it was more to you, sir, that just simply practicing was enough and learning from the other big boys how to play the ball in the way that they can't do and they treat me like one they own. You know what, Spinny? Uh, Let's I'm sorry. Give it to him. You, you're suiting up, Spinny. Let's give it to him. Let's you are suiting up. I you are playing in the big game. <laughs> you are hit. Honestly, strangely compelling. Strangely it compelling, was, yeah. yeah. No, that was that was actually very dramatic, and I almost cried a little bit. Very good. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. And now time for a commercial break. I'm Ray, and I quit smoking. Oh, antics. I love this. In movies, a lot of times, I, I tend to play the tough guy. But I wasn't tough enough to quit on my own. Not until I tried Chantix. Chantix, along with support, helps you quit smoking. It reduced my urge to smoke to the point that I could stop. When you try to quit smoking, with or without Chantix, you may have nicotine withdrawal symptoms. Some people have changes in behavior or thinking. Aggression, hostility, agitation, depressed mood, or suicidal thoughts or actions with Chantix. Serious side effects may include seizures, or worse, harder blood vessel problems, sleepwalking, or allergic and skin reactions, which can be life-threatening. Stop Chantix and get help right away if you have any of these. Tell your health care provider if you've had depression or other mental health problems. Decrease alcohol use while taking Chantix. Use caution when driving or operating machinery. The most common side effect is nausea. My favorite role so far, being a non-smoker. No question about it. <laughs> he sounds like he's smoking Chantix. more cigarettes than ever before. He really does. I quit smoking with Chantix. So, how does this happen? Now, he was, speaking of Oscars, yeah. did he win one? Or he was nominated. Sure. 
Oh, Let's yeah. just say he was in, the, he was in the ballpark. He was in the nomination, yeah. 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 Now, why? So he doesn't need the money. Does, is he just that into Chantix? Big it, Pharma is just like they just be. bought him? I honestly think that that man was made out of fucking cigarettes for many years. <laughs> it's only his voice. When you oh, have yeah. that, like, full, like, yeah, I, I smoked for 49 years. <laughs> like, he's got that undertone. So I right. think he might have actually used Chantix. Yeah, he, no, I think he has to, by law, use it. <laughs> no, Chantix, not necessarily. Ch Chantix no, is responsible for a murder, though. Somebody went into a sleepwalk murder mode I believe on it. Chantix. Whoa. Yeah, no, the, the side effects are far worse than the side effects of smoking tobacco. Chantix is a very dangerous drug. Be really? very careful. Yeah. Yes. What Makes is you there, nuts. A lot of people the kill that themselves. You Doesn't it make you sick if you smoke? I think that's part of it. I think that's what Chantix is. If you smoke, you actually, like, get violently ill. Hmm. Really? I think that's what it is. See, I just, the way I quit. It's known for making you go into sleepwalking, though, a lot. Yeah. Huh. That's cool, man. I could do, I could be more relaxed. But part of it is that I. You uh, don't smoke. I quit smoking. Well, the way I helped me quit smoking was that I did the, the, the little boy treatment, which is that I went into a bar. I was in Yacht Club in Atlanta, and it was one night. I smoked two packs of cigarettes. We were out to 6 o'clock in the morning getting fucking hammered, and then I threw up all this fucking brown and black shit. Mm. And I was like. Times come for a change. And very good. Well, I'm happy both of you guys have quit. Um, it's dangerous, but yeah. anyway. I mean, you, okay. you'll catch me on when I'm feeling a little. Maybe I'll. Oh, have I, a I smoke maybe a cigarette once every two weeks or so. I love a good cigarette. Mm -hmm. It's just strange. It's like one of the few things where I'm like moderation. <laughs> not when it comes to rice, though. <sighs> You're not even putting a protein in there. No, I don't. I didn't have any protein. You no. need to order food. There's can, like, yeah. No, I know I got the Eat app, but I'm trying not to do that. Uh, so. Do you want to wait? I could tell you how to make a couple easy recipes that you could just do in your house. No. It's real easy. Nobody. Nobody. I'm fine. I need to get a rotisserie, um, and then I'd have a lot more protein around. You, and a deep, I want to get one of those in-kitchen deep fryers. Uh, no, you really do not. <laughs> I, do. I had a friend. My no, mom got not. my mom got us a fry daddy when I was eleven. Might have corresponded perfectly with my immense amount of weight gain. I don't know, <laughs> um, no, but it don't. was. I used to just get hammered and just no. fry up a bunch of stuff. Well, I don't know if I was Dude, too hammered. Well, like around twelve, I guess. But. The way you the way you live, you don't clean enough. Like your mom is the kind of mom like my mom, right? Where my mom like cleans the fucking walls and the ceiling. Right, my mm. mom just like she'll come in and she's cream like she's an illegal trying to keep her boss undocumented happy. worker. Right, doing and a so, wonderful job for the country. Yes. I love them. I love them. But a part of it is that you you don't clean enough. That place is gonna smell like the inside of a Burger King dumpster. And like a fucking <laughs> Not a dumpster, <laughs> just the inside of a Burger King. It's, I gonna, sound, Burger it's King. gonna smell fucking awful. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. It'll smell better than it does now. I'll tell you that. All right. Okay. So speaking of self care. Um, I did something a couple months ago that I mentioned on Side Stories, and I would be a fucking jackass if I didn't show the video on last stream. Okay. Okay. So, uh, here is this. Hey! Skydive New England! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so they oh, did the oh, oh, yeah. You are so dumb, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Calm as a cucumber there. <laughs> the guy's like kidding you be like, have fun! Look like you're having fun! Yeah, fucking oh, live experience all this Mandatory awesome. devil horns around. <laughs> now, did you feel the guy's penis on your back at all? Or? He's not hard at all. <laughs> he seems to be having a lot of fun, but I'm also, it's interesting because he's wearing a full helmet mm -hmm. and then just kind of threw you out trusting that your hair would stop the fall? Or? <laughs> I wonder why they didn't give me a helmet. Because my flesh is being ripped off. Yeah. yeah, why does, now, see, that does, usually you would be the more protected one, and then the, the pro is like, I do it in my underwear. But not in this case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quite, oh, my goodness. All right, well, don't do that again. That's um, awesome. Oh, God, I'd love to do that. You that looks do really that? cool. Yeah, of course you I want to do that. You just got a concussion by being in your apartment. But that yep. was me being an idiot. That guy's that's a professional. That's not you being an idiot? No, I feel like that's that technically as dumb, dumb as possible. <laughs> it's literally just attempting to commit suicide with a supposed extra, an extra oh strapped to you. And then there was just one, the story of the dude from that same skydive place, right? Travis, well, that's no? that's top secret, I think. That's a little dark. Yeah, we can't walk, really walk down that path. But... That's top, top secret. Anyway, accidents happen. I went in a live leak 
a hole about what is it when you don't have it's the bodysuit. Yeah. And they actually fly oh, and they try to do, to do like that. all these yeah. maneuvers within like mountaintops. I saw the blooper reel of that. And the bloopers aren't like, can't believe he dribbled the ball off his foot. It's when you hit your face into a mountain. And then you, ex <laughs> like, they exploded. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm watching this. Um, but it is disgusting. Just be careful and just stay on the ground. Stay on the ground, man. That's what I say. Because, yeah. honestly, there's enough stray bullets out there to, to really get well, your heart rate up if you want to. Yeah, you that's know what true. I mean? And if I really need to be really scared, I just have a quad espresso. Yep, that'll do it. That's All really right. just get you dialed in there, buddy. I know what it does. I know what it does. Except today, this morning, I actually did a, I put a bunch of CBD in my coffee and actually really helped, I guess. Hmm. In, in what way did it help? I don't know. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Very good. I don't know the point of the CBD, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't see, have any uh, THC in it. I, don't, I just don't really get it. It's so. better to smoke weed. Technically, they say it's supposed to have calming effects and stuff, and stuff, but it doesn't really work like that. You need to have the THC to activate it. It works with the cream. I don't like the taste of the vape. I got the vape, and it tastes like, the, yeah. like a like a like a you know like a doctor's foot. It's got a real medicinal sense to it. I smoked to a it. full CBD weed joint, and it made me feel weird. Yeah, if you just kind of take just a bunch of CBD, it just makes you feel weird. Yeah, I need the fucking weed. Man. All right. Well, <laughs> this All video, right. I, just, I thought this was just kind of. I thought this video was just kind of interesting. Um, something about it, uh, the fact that this guy's taking a selfie essentially, which is just strange to see. So. <laughs> oh, I hope that's really Michael. That's when wearing makeup because I hate those. Wait, I want to hear. I want to hear him talk. I want to hear him. This is regular. I'm not a narcissist. Just trying to mirror effect, testing the camera, seeing how well it works. Dude! <laughs> Apple head. What? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the the document. <laughs> Michael Jackson's father, Michael Jackson. This is according to People. People ma yeah, it's from People magazine. Yeah, People magazine, and this is under music, so you know it's in the right category. Michael Jackson was chemically castrated by late father Joe. Claims Dr. Conrad Murray, the doctor who, who is Dr. Him. Conrad Murray. He'll He's say the guy anything. who killed him. He but will say anything no, he to won't distract say anything. everybody else. This Why don't you believe? This conspiracy theory is the This is not a conspiracy theory. To. Is, I cannot, you believe in interdimensional beings that come and anally probe the, the great rural people of our nation, but you don't believe that Joe Jackson, the man who was known as a disciplinarian, a narcissist, and a sociopath, chemically, chemically castrated poor MJ. I, I, you know what? You know, it's, he not that did I don't, it. it's not that I don't believe it. I just think that it was enough that he beat him. I don't think he was trying to keep... Hmm. According to Murray, the fact that he was chemically castrated to maintain his high-pitched voice is, quote, beyond words. Well, he just claimed it was a fact. He didn't yeah. say, there's no... Like, how else, do you, get, how else do you make a fact? I just <laughs> an unclaimed to fact? see the body. You, you got to get in there because it's chemically castration. How do it's I chemical get an castration. actual autopsy report? Of just his, of his genitalia? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I oh, want to okay. find... Out. Here we go. Marcus is more. True. It is true. Okay. Well, what it is it in his 2016 book? This is it. The secret uh. lives of Dr. Conrad Murray and Michael Jackson. He accused Joe Jackson of forcing Michael to get hormone injections at age 12 to cure his acne and prevent his voice from changing. Chemical castration. Uh, it, it seems more like just a accidental. You think that Joe Jackson did something on accident? <laughs> you really think? Yes, that? I think we were at his home. We were in his uh, area in India. Uh, in in Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, we, we did we drive passed Gary by Indiana. Gary, which is just get a mopping crew. You gotta. Oh <laughs> man, sad. But I, so he was. They never wanted to go back to Gary. He would do anything to make sure that the show went on. The band stayed on the road. Yeah. Of course he did that. I That's why Michael you. never really matured. I, I am just so puzzled. I don't know. I I really. It's all. I, how is it this clear as day? Because he had a child. Well, it doesn't mean that he can't create sperm. 
He yes, just it does. Down. No, yeah. it ha- happened at a very cat- young age. No, no, yes, no. you it can does? still cre- No, it does not. Yeah, yes, it, it does not. It halts. You need balls I to make. Not. No, he didn't. He still has to make balls. Children. No, yes, it's, it's a, it's a hormone. It's about. a hormone. It doesn't mean you can't create sperm. It still then what, works. Then what did he get? Then what is your definition of chemical castration? Then hey, because he's Doctor got- Conrad, Conrad Murray said. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> chemical castration. I no, you can, and, and it doesn't mean it's going to last for life. He I just did it. I don't think that that's true. It, ha- it happened. I, I, Absolutely. Good. I, Travis, I, can you find out if you can still create sperm if you're chemically castrated? I'm pretty sure it's hormonal. It doesn't mean I you don't can't know. Do I really thing. don't know. He, he didn't tie the tubes like my dad got as soon as I was born. He tied his tubes up. Yeah, he made white mess with perfection. Huh. Well, that's one nice way to put it. Oh. Huh. Actually. He's got a thing here. Yes, I do. Chemical castration is castration via anaphrodisiac drugs, uh, whether to reduce libido and sexual activity, to treat cancer or otherwise, unlike surgical castration, where the gonads are removed (laughs) through an incision in the body, chemical castration does not remove organs, nor is it a form of sterilization. I want to see the body. I want to see the body, body. I want to be in the same room as the body. No, I, I don't think the body is still it. around. I the body look was at barely it. around when yeah. he was still alive. And I've, and I've got a, an article here from another uh, reputable news source, uh, The Sun. The Sun, it's owned by, it's owned by the, the, the uh, what's the name of the guy? The uh, Sun is not a reputable news source. It is not a reputable news source. It's The Sun. It says, what is chemical castration? How does it work? And was it used on Michael Jackson? Usually is used to suppress uh, chemical urges. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and they also say it is no longer effective. Uh, but they, okay, after okay, 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 okay. How does it it's affect the-, the voice? Does chemical castration affect the voice? Like what you're saying, like the castratos mm. from it's, from Italia. Well, they did some pretty brutal work on those poor boys. But this is what I'm saying. This is so okay. Maybe you are correct about the about the so the so-called chemical castration. Sure. But yes. How would that affect the voice? Because it keeps his voice high. How? Uh, well, it um, apparently it lowers testosterone. I don't know how much. Uh, That's it. When you, what happens at twelve? With... Puberty. He he nipped it in the bud. That's why Michael was always in a nipped it in the bud. I nipped don't know, it in the man. Balls. I gotta see um, the dick. Uh, well, you're not gonna see. It's gone now. I need to talk to several doctors. <sighs> I'm supposed oh. to see a new doctor soon. I'm supposed to go get one. Also, I don't think... So I'll ask him, before we do any tests, I'm going to ask him about this theory first. Yes, so that's a good idea. We were driving from Indiana to Chicago, and Marcus had to stop at an Arby's. Yeah. Oh, that Arby's was horrible. I didn't yes. have to stop at an yes. Arby's. It wasn't, no. I just needed to eat. It's you how were it like, all worked but, out. You so, just, it by was the better way, than that there horrible... Is somebody, there was a jerky we got? The jerky that we got on the way to Oklahoma City, yeah. Yeah, that we had to get rid of. That's the first time we've oh ever done that. Oh, my God. The $40 bag of jerky that I bought? Mm. Yes, the $40 oh. bag of jerky. I thought it had to be, like, spectacular. We could have spent and, that much money. We could have spent that money on those super cool knives they had at that truck stop. Yeah. Well, I ask you, Marcus, watch this video, and I, and I ask you, where is your God now? Bad sandwich. Sandwich with lettuce and tomato and... I took it back to my place at work and uh, sat down and was eating it, ate about half of it, realized there was something in my mouth, and uh, of course I spit it out and I realized it was something that should have not been there. Uh, I first got sick and then I called my, the uh, uh, health department, uh, the police department, and my doctor. There was actually, there was actually a fingerprint on the, on the skin. Oh, <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, and, and you God. learned it came from where? Uh, Arby's restaurant. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Worked there, I understand. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, he was slicing uh, some lettuce and uh, he sliced his finger. <laughs> and this uh, object uh, ended up being in the lettuce the next day when they prepared my sandwich. And they put the lettuce on my sandwich and that's how it got there. Any health concerns? <laughs> Uh, well, at first there was HIV and hepatitis was done for six months, and uh, they, at different times, two different times, took blood work. Can you imagine if you got uh, I mean, he's just an no, army just worker. He's gonna be fine. Uh, Can you imagine if you fucking can't got eat AIDS out? From you know, and when I do, I go through my food. 
Doesn't That's his, good. Doesn't his eyes look like he just saw a genocide? <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty brutal. But you I mean, I gotta say, I tell you is... what, you go to the Arby's and you assume a certain level of quality. <laughs> you do a certain level of trust between you and the Arby's salesman. Will be filled with meat and cannot be defied. In this <laughs> I love it. Well, I gotta say this: there was a, there's people fighting back on me because Snopes, they said, which by the way, Snopes can also be wrong. Uh, they said the Arby's meat doesn't come liquefied. I need to clarify something. It's not that it's like super liquefied. It is that it is not solid. It's in a vacuum. And then you pack. have to put it into the fridge and then it solidifies. If you grab just, if you get it right out of the truck, you're going to be able to kind of pound, you can pound at it, punch it up. Sir, it please stop wet. yelling. Sir, <laughs> sir, please step away from the, step away from the car, sir. So My family is just trying to enter this establishment. Well, sir, it, it's not please that it comes out like water. It's, it, you can, it's still a, it's, you know, a, a it's solid like a gel. Thing. It's a gel. Yeah. It's a gel. gel. Yeah, but that's still not a solid. No, it's not a super solid. It's like a million different cows in each slice of roast beef. It's disgusting. And I don't know what happened with the Arby's uh, roast, uh, what is it, the cheddar? Yeah. I don't know what happened. Because we had it over there in the Indiana. Sandwich, uh, in Indiana. It was literally like eating food made by ghosts. You <laughs> grab the sandwich and you straight up, because I remember, because you were all puzzled. And you, you bit into it and you're like, this doesn't taste like anything. And I was just like, let me try this. And so I took a bite of it and it literally did not have a single flavor. It was yeah. really weird. Like, it's weird. But, you know, the curly fries, they hold up when they're fresh. Balls. Yeah, it was. It's very strange. But maybe it's because our palates are so much. I don't know. I don't know. We just don't eat Arby's every day anymore. We yeah. used to eat Arby's oh, every day, and Arby's but, or Taco, Taco Bell. Bell or... Taco Bell holds up. I don't know. I don't think it does. But, yes, it or, does. I, dude, I had. Well, some... then why did I give you that gordita five years ago? I. You're still bringing this up. Yeah. Still. Oh, I bought three three dollars worth of Taco Bell wow. for me. Wow. And then he and then he demand, looked at me so sad. You, you and he took a gordita. now. You no, this was five years ago. This was five and this ago. was a gordita. He mm -hmm. didn't just take a he didn't just take a you know, willy nilly soft taco. He went for the top. You just said get whatever. You just said take whatever. Because I went for you, the gordita. Because I help you carry that thirty three dollar call of Taco Bell. Uh -huh. I tell you what, Arby's used to be a sit down restaurant. Oh, it was, when we got an Arby's in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, it was the best restaurant there was. There was a ribbon cutting ceremony. Our mayor was out there. It Arby's was huge. And a Wendy's. You go to a oh, nice yeah. Wendy's, you see a nice, clear-faced, sweet young woman mm. behind there. The, the Frosties were cold, the sandwiches were hot, and that salad bar kept the nice, tepid that you yep. want your salad at. Right, nice, kind of warm, kind of wilty salad that makes the cheese kind of melt together, so you get more than you wanted, but did you really not want that much? I and, don't think so. You get that whole, you get the, and you dip the fries in it. That was always the best part. And then I was uh, a square burger, man. We'll always be fat kids. Mm. Mm. And adults. All right. So for this next video, remember VHSs? No. Like, of course. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> and they would yes. sort of have like <laughs> they would sort of have like commercials on uh, before the movie that yeah. were sort of like placed in there. Well, uh, this is a commercial for um, the Hell on the Hellraiser VHS. You can find this after the credits roll. Oh, awesome! This okay. is cool. Okay. That's right, baby. <gasps> of this movie, there will be some great souvenir offers for us. Caps, t-shirts, satin jackets. Oh, I can This was a better time. Think. Yeah. What movie? Hmm. It's supposed to be scary, but we've seen scary movies before. <laughs> Remember the Wicked Witch? This, this is yes. awesome. Get it in there. Oh, yes, Have you ever seen such a mess? And the smelly here could raise the dead. This is watch and wear from Hellraiser. Here comes the watch and wear offer. Come on, Percy. What is it? Over this way. I want it. Let's get to the phone. God, it was so cool to be a kid Stay back then. chained to the screen. I will. Because awesome. here's what we have for you. Yes! Oh, I'll get take it. Do you have it in black to cover up my mail? We want you. So many monsters, so little time. I want that shirt. They're all a Hellraiser mug and a thermos. Oh, they're fucking killer. Tasty down your tonsils. 
can take it to school with you. Razor sweatpants. Ooh, that makes you cozy. Perfect That's fucking Honestly, awesome. I want that. Up against the wall. I have the most oh, Hellraiser merch of all the cat. movies. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. That's awesome. Brain covered. A Hellraiser windbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Your bones. This should be the in the movie. Sports bag. That's dope. <laughs> the ideal. Oh my god! That's you imagine awesome. going to play racquetball with your Hellraiser sports bag. Satin against your skin. You Whoa, a Hellraiser satin this. fucking Honestly, jacket? that's incredible. I would... Can I even find this on eBay? Yes, I gotta find this. Oh, don't fast forward to the best part. We're gonna go out and get it. <laughs> wow. Man, that was the best, dude. I miss old fucking merch, dude. Yeah. I, got, I kept my VHS player, so I'm, I'm gonna pop a VHS in there sometime. Yeah, I got a, uh, I got a uh, VCR as well. Yeah. Yeah, know. you've been doing You guys keep the VHSs going? Yep. I don't. I don't. I haven't used it in a long time. I also have a DVD player, but for some reason, I'm not nostalgic about DVDs. Not really. Yeah. yeah. I, I've been going back and buying Blu-rays. Hmm. Really? I like Why? the quality of the video, and I like the quality of sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's, keep, let's keep the VHS theme going. Here. Let's do it. Look at me. Do you sure. like what you see? Sure. Yeah. Good. Because it's not me. It's a recording of me oh. on Mimrex videotape. <laughs> but I bet you still couldn't tell if it was Memorex or me, which really isn't good. It's Memorex. <sighs> this is total it's recall. It's a recording of me. <laughs> Even after 100 recordings, you'll wonder, is it live or is it Memorex? Whoa. It's Why Memorex. are they so <laughs> dystopian about their... <laughs> it is a... It's pretty it's, sweet, dude. It's just a blank tape. It's that Memorex is a blank tape that you watch and you put your, like your stupid little shows on. I wouldn't pay attention to that. I've obsessively taped everything that I watched on television. Well, we had we had the final Bob Newhart show, we had the final Johnny Carson show. Uh -huh. um, my mom, what else did she get? Nah, nothing really. Maybe I would think we had some Packers games. Uh, we had the Rose Bowl when Wisconsin went to the Rose Bowl. Watched that at. Uh, at Mall of America in Minneapolis. So. This reminds me of this speech in, um, you remember Birdcage when the senator is hanging out with them and he's just like, and he's driving, he's like, we drove through the foliage and you watch the, <laughs> the leaves turn from green to red. The colors. And the colors of autumn. Yellow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ron uh, Dane. He was a running back. He was a very good running back for Wisconsin. Can you imagine, man, especially once the AI gets kicking? I like that AI anchor. They look pretty sweet. No, oh, it's horrifying. Did we? I don't think we've covered that yet. No. It's no, absolutely think, horrifying. It's, I think it's, it's cool looking. No, it's going to be all, I think that was in China. That's just Xi Jinping just like typing in whatever he wants the news to be. Cool. And then that dumb machine just regurgitates it because it doesn't uh -huh. have any free thought. What I would, and I'm offering this now to AI people out there and AI people who are trying to make entertainers, I'm offering to sell the visage of my body to be used for entertainment. You, you think that someone, me, you, you think AI, me. they want you, you, why would they want you? I mean, the amount of baggage that comes with taking on your identity. No, man, no. And then I'm they a just fucking, have to I'm a self-starter. Um, I uh, start from the bottom, now I'm here. Um, I, I dig and I dig and I dig, I fight for that inch. We're technically doing the exact same thing we've been doing since we were at the bottom. Yeah. I'll, go, I'll do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, fucking, I can guzzle beers with the dudes and I can have Manhattans with the women. You I don't think I mean? that robots can drink. That's yeah, on, the one on thing. On camera, you could just do a virtual drink. Yeah, they're going to kill us. We talked about this on Side Stories. Biological weapons. Yeah. They, there's nothing. They can survive anything. But on the other hand, have you seen the robot Santa Claus and the reindeer? No, I did not see that. Travis, could you look that up by any chance? Okay. Uh, it, was it labs? What are the labs that do all the uh, robots? Oh, Boston Dynamics. Boston, Di oh, the Boston I, Dynamics. Oh, they're uh, all horrible. I love it. Reindeer Sky and Santa. Down. I love no, the, the big galloping. No, yeah, the you don't love it. When it's chasing leave. after you, it'll rip your brains open. Unless I have some that I purchased from our monies that we've earned. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, it's all awesome. oh, I hate it. I hate it, kill it with dun, fire dun, bullets. Dun, 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 yeah, and we're throwing in here to blow dun, dun, those things up. Now watch it go over crowds of protesters. <laughs> yes, exactly, and just shoot them like they're in France. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. It's, I mean, honestly, we've already we talked about this. There's already been four kills. Amazon factories 
There was a robot attempting to murder everyone in the warehouse by breaking open bear repellent with his dumb robot hands because it's too stupid oh, to know how to talk. Robots, fell a robot. Well, that's not. No, that's because the robot's dumb. The, yeah. Because the robot was like, "I'll oh, squeeze it." And he's like, "Don't <laughs> squeeze it. It's bear repellent, you dumb fuck." And then it also happened in 2015. I don't know why Amazon so, has so much damn bear repellent. Um, but again, you can get anything from Amazon, so you got to get from somewhere. You know, I've heard really repels bears. You got to get a uh, big. Uh, it's a pot pants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aren't you supposed also, to play dead? What? Aren't you supposed uh, to do the opposite of that and play dead? Black fight back, brown lie down, white good night. <laughs> this is not something racist your father used to say. <laughs> no, <is it? laughs> no, this was not taught to him at the 1970s police academy. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. yes. All right. Now you may be wondering if human soldiers are ready for the oncoming robot wars. No, is the answer. And the answer uh, is absolutely, and I have all right. evidence. I'ma smoke this joint, then I'ma break you off. I'll be lying if I said you ain't the one. active duty military. Times have changed. All these tattoos in my skin, they turn you off. But I'm empty when you're gone, and they say, Do you need me? This is not for women. Do you think I'm pretend? Do I make you feel like cheated? I'm like, So it's like military dudes, like, is it a sexual chat? Snapchat or something? Snapchat? TikTok. What is TikTok? It's the hot, new hotness. It's like the new Snapchat. But how is it different than Snapchat? I have no idea. What is Snapchat? That's why you just you snap it and then they chat and then it goes away. Why are they making this? This is what happens during peacetime. <laughs> but, uh, but we're not in peacetime. We're still in the middle well, of two wars. You know. Well, yeah. just let's just say it's a forever war. All right. Let's just say that's not, not. We will never not yeah. be in this war ever again. We're not in the heat of it. You know. I mean, not for a lot of them. I'd get I, over there. I'd do South Korea. What? I'd get stationed in South Korea. I want you to want to be you want to be stationed in South Korea. If you could choose, I would join the military if they let you choose where you'll be stationed. Yeah, you bring if I would choose military, board, you want to like, be stationed what? in my living room. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> well, unless you're a drone fighter, and then you then you are actually killing a bunch of people. Yeah. See, I already you got was, it. I already got you, the moves. You actually do have the moves. You have the perfect body for a, for a Navy, for a seaman, or for a drone fighter. By the way, Army and Navy are actually, Army is pretty good this year. Because, again, we're not in Oh, the, football. Football. Yeah. Football. Yeah, I was about to say, it would be cool if they played war games against each other. Um, yeah. Titties, it, it, there are people who want a story, but I don't want a, you to force a story. Because normally your stories come out naturally. Uh, yeah, I don't really have. He already had one story about, yeah, he, about he that thing that happened to him. So mm -hmm. you all just have to, we will get it, but it has to come naturally. We can't be chasing this, all right? We got to be, we got to, we got to grab yeah, inspiration. It has to come air. organic. Absolutely. Anyway, all right. Anyway, so uh, next video. Um, well, we just, we just did a Patreon interview with a guy who is a professor on exorcisms and oh, demonic yeah. possession. Um, and this uh, next video relates to that. Joseph Laycock. Joseph Laycock. Oh, love him. The tongue on that Lucifer? Thing. I presume. Would you like to? I think I've seen this. I have seen this. You? In real time. Just 20 seconds after being called Lucifer, Russell responds. You were the model of perfection. <laughs> it's allergy season, Connor even for the devil. Reading from the Bible. He says scripture is the most effective weapon against evil. When he selects what he says is an especially powerful passage about the birth of Jesus, it triggers something in Russell that sounds almost inhuman, a scream from somewhere. You know who the only seed of a woman is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're not hurting. You leave without hurting him. You leave, you get out there, you leave without hurting him. Uh. No, I think our children are playing Dungeons and Dragons in the basement. <laughs> yeah. They're crazy, dude. Wow. That's totally <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of horrifying. There's Can you make that noise, Kissel? No, no, no. <coughs> uh, I have respect for Ivory. I have respect for the studio neighbors. Put a yeah, blanket dude. on Marcus. No, I mean, he might be getting there. That's the devil. That, the devil made that happen. You can't make that noise, Kissel? No. Try All it. All right. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to. You can't. You can't even play with it. You don't. You used even... to yell quite a bit. I yell. I yell. 
No, yeah, is it just alone in your house at the rice? <laughs> uh, I cook rice! It, it Can't you say so that father's hungry, rice? <laughs> it did take a long time to cook. It takes like 25 minutes. Oh, yeah. To cook, cook rice. Did you do it properly? Do no. you have a rice maker? No. A rice maker? You just boil it? Yeah, you just boil rice. Hmm. A rice maker? Yep. What are you talking about? The hey, Japanese have. I'm Chinese. Well, people they use more rice quite often. Them. Yes, more than I, I have a rice maker. Well, I don't know if that's true, but. Have I played this video before? I don't know. Serene. Yeah, I love this guy. This is cool. What's his name? I think Cyrillax or something like that? Silverlax. Oh, look at that. Oh my, where'd that, where'd that bike come from? He's pooping out bikes. Oh, it's like gremlins. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. This is awesome. It's good to show good art every now and again, too. Yeah, right? I wish you could be so much more stone for this. <laughs> Should I? I guess I can't rip bongs on camera, right? Is that true? Well, you have to Dickies. drive. You would have to Uber over there. I could do that. I don't like driving while stoned. No. Awesome. Beautiful. I wish this was real. I tell you what, if we did this yeah. with people, this is Syriac. the only way to take down the government. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of rabbits. Yeah, that guy play, he has one of my favorite videos. It's called Cows and Cows and Cows and Cows. It's kind it of the same thing, but with it's, cows? It's a little more primitive, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, but with cows. Okay. Okay. I got a theme going. Right. Hey, man, I like that. I like that. I like his art. I like people yeah. who make things. Mm -hmm. I like people who put their time and energy into putting things forward in this world instead of just sitting back and just, you know, just letting it shoot all over their chests. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I have one last little tiny video to end on, um, and it's because we're coming up on Christmas. So this is a, uh, a toy video. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, but yeah, so, so I'm just gonna, we're going to close out on this. Yeah, so that's it. So hail Satan. Thank you, titties, for your work. Yes. Yes. Hail yourselves, everyone. Feel better, we'll be everyone back. in New York. We'll be back next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. You let me violate you. Oh, fuck yeah. This is back in the day, man. You let me desecrate you. You let me penetrate you. You let me complicate you.